biggest fire anyone alive on the island's ever seen. Some reports say it was like 70% of you know, the fauna died during the fire. And if you look at the map, it's like, you know, it's pretty much half the island was burnt. I had my ute out there, you know, fighting the fire like everyone else did. And just seeing the level of uh, you know, death of the native animals was pretty grim, really. Directly after the fire, when there was no wind, if, when you went out there, it was just like deathly quiet. You know, it was, didn't hear anything, like no birds and no nothing. Even now, like a few years later, you know, it is looking green, but still a same that hangs over the community for sure. So Kangaroo Island is a place known for its wilderness areas, it's got historic townships and of course it's got this remarkable coastline. People come to visit Kangaroo Island to get up close with nature and really enjoy the, the natural environment here. So what we know is that there were oyster reefs in the sheltered bays and estuaries and we know this from historic fishing records as well as talking to the local community. So we wanted to bring back the oysters to a place where they once existed. Since the Nature Conservancy has been constructing shellfish reefs, we've always had Kangaroo Island as a bit of a flagship site. It's so exciting that we've finally, with the support of the federal government, been able to put these reefs back in the water. Well, we've had an interest in the Angazi species for a long time, the native oyster of, uh, of southern Australia. And now we've worked with the Nature Conservancy for building the reef out there, which uh, means we're growing some uh, of these Angazi oysters for them and putting them out on the reefs. So we hope our town, American River, will benefit from it in terms of the community. Um, you know, and just indeed the benefit to community in having cleaner oceans around our island. After the fires, there was a real effort here to try and recover from an agricultural point of view, from a community point of view, from a trauma and mental health point of view. And you ask, how does it help? How does it fit in? Well, I think it's just another example of how, uh, as an island, we must look after the land and the sea, and this coastal environment is really important for us. And these reef restorations is really trying to put back some of the habitat that's been lost over the years. And I think as we go into the next sort of five, 10, 15, 20 years, reefs like this will really prove their, their value. Climate change is a big threat to our marine environment. So shellfish reefs um, will help by providing habitat for fish, filtering water, and making sure that um, these coastlines are resilient long into the future. Since fires, there has been a couple of things like where they, you know, they're trying to eradicate feral animals and, and now the oyster reefs, it's just like steps forward that you don't often see, especially with the environment. Like it's always, oh this is dying, or, you know, this is disappearing. And yeah, with the oyster reef, it's like another step forward with for kangaroo owners. Just yeah, it's really hopeful. <laughs>